Hello, and welcome to Yoga with Becky for children ages zero to five and their caregivers. And of course, these classes um, may be appropriate for children uh, that are a bit older as well because they are lots of fun. And I encourage everyone, uh, parents and children alike, to dive into playing with me today. Today, we're going to be reading the story, The Mitten, by Jan Brett. This is one of my favorite wintertime Christmas stories to share. The illustrations are so pretty, and it's such a fun one to turn into yoga. I'm hoping that you are able to see both my screens, the one where I'm looking at you right now, and another one where you can see my mats. And I'll tell you the story from this side, and we'll do the yoga from that side. So let's begin by uh, taking a great big deep yoga breath in. So we can bring our hands together because they meet, and we create a big circle from our heart all the way to our hands. Of course, the most important part about our yoga practices is to learn to feel our breath. So let's take a deep breath in through our nose. And sigh it out from your nose. Big, beautiful yoga breaths. We'll remember to do those as we go through our class today. Of course, the other thing that we need to remember how to feel all the time is how does our body feel as we practice our yoga? How does our body feel right now? Give yourself, give your body a great big hug. And then we want to be aware of how our heart feels too. So put your hands over your heart. Feel how you're feeling. And we'll take a yoga breath. And then it's time to warm our bodies up before we start our story. So I'm gonna get on my mat and we're gonna sing a song together and do some motions together that I think you'll probably know. So come on up to standing. I'm gonna turn so you can see me in this camera now. Hello. The other camera, you'll only see my legs and my tummy. So look in the other screen. All right. Now I think you're gonna remember this song. You might know this song, it's called the Hokey Pokey. And it goes like this. You put your right arm in, you put your right arm out, you put your right arm in and you shake it all about. You do the Hokey Pokey and you turn yourself around. And that's what it's all about. You put your left arm in, you put your left arm out, you put your left arm in and you shake it all about. You do the hokey pokey and you turn yourself around. That's what it's all about. You put your right leg in, you put your right leg out. You put your right leg in and you shake it all about. You do the hokey pokey and you turn yourself around. That's what it's all about. You put your left leg in, you put your left leg out, you put your left leg in and you shake it all about. You do the hokey pokey and you turn yourself around. That's what it's all about. All right. You put your head in, you put your head out, you put your head in, and you shake it all about. You do the hokey pokey and you turn yourself around. That's what it's all about. We put our whole self in, we put our whole self out, we put our whole self in, and we shake it all about. You do the hokey pokey and you turn yourself around. That's what it's all about. Awesome. Now we should be all warmed up for our yoga. Shall we start our story? Come, on, let's sit down together. Okay, so the story today, the mitten.
by Jan Brett. So based on a folk uh, tale from way up in Ukraine, it says a Ukrainian folk tale. I'll be sure to give you lots of time to look at the pictures. Once, there was a boy named Mickey who wanted new mittens made from wool as white as snow. You see, look at all that beautiful snow. When it's supposed to snow tonight, lots, there'll be lots of snow on the ground tomorrow. Shall we pretend to get all dressed up, ready to go out in the snow? Let's do it together. So the first thing, what do we need when we're getting ready to go out and playing in the snow? First, we should put our jackets on. So, put your arm in, put the other arm in, and we gotta zip it up. Let's make it a nice long zipper. All the way to the top. And then we gotta put our snow pants on. So, you stand on one leg, put your snow pants on. Stand on the other leg, put the other leg on your snow pants. Got those on. Should put on our boots. I have to sit down to put on my boots sometimes. We could sit down. We put our boot on this leg. Put your boot on me. Put your boot on the other leg. Okay, good job. What else do we need? What about a scarf? Let's put a scarf on. So, pretend you got a scarf. And you wrap it around your neck. We just do it with the other arm. Wrap it around your neck. Good job. What else do we need? Oh, we should put a toque on our head to keep our ears warm. So here's how we we'll pretend to put our toque on our head. Do toques ever make your head itchy? Kind of make my head itchy. So we're going to put a toque on our head. Pretend we're putting a toque on our head. First, we're going to scratch our head. See how that feels? Scratch it all over, a little scrub. Oh, I'm all ready for my toque, put on my toque. And what's the last thing we need? We need a pair of mittens. We could pretend we're like Nikki and we need to have grandma knit us a pair of mittens. Let's see if she does that. Come on over here and I'll read the next part of our story. Can you see? At first, his grandmother, Baba, did not want to knit white mittens. If you drop one in the snow, she warned, you'll never find it. But Nikki wanted snow white mittens, and finally, Baba made them. After she finished, she said, when you come home, first, I will look to see if you are safe and sound, but then I will look to see if you still have your snow white mittens. So off Nikki went, and it wasn't long before one of his new mittens dropped in the snow and was left behind. Can you see? Can you see he's dropped his mitten? There, because he's climbing a tree. You see, here's a little animal coming. Let's be like Nikki. Go out into the snow. Put on your mittens. Got your mittens. We got all of our snow clothes on. Now we have our mittens, and we're gonna go out. We're gonna go out and play in the snow, right? And we find a tree, and we want to climb a tree. But if we can't climb the tree with our mittens on, we better take them off. Put them in our pockets. Put your mittens in your pockets. You don't want to lose them. So put your mittens in your pockets. Okay, so let's pretend to climb a tree. Of course, there's no trees to climb because we're inside. Please don't climb your Christmas tree. <laughs> so let's pretend to climb a tree. And here's how we'll do it. So we'll pretend that the floor is the tree. I'm going to climb up the tree. Climb like this. Climb up the tree. Oh my goodness, it's hard work climbing a tree. Hard work, get going. Trying to get all the way to the top. 
Good job. Let's pretend to be a tree. Come to standing and we'll do tree pose together. So tree pose in yoga, we stand on one leg. Sometimes it's hard to stand on one leg, so you can keep your toe down. Maybe you could touch this leg to your foot. We bring our hands together. And we balance like a tree. Maybe we're a pointy tree, like a Christmas tree. Or maybe we're a big round tree. We should practice on the other leg. So stand on the other leg. You could keep your toes to the ground, or you could try and stand on one leg. Hands come together. Remember your yoga breath. Could be a Christmas tree, or a tree with lots of branches, a tree blowing in the wind, maybe even a jumping tree. Is that real? I don't know. Come, let's find out what happens next. Good job. I'm gonna turn this just a little. See here, you can see something's coming. Does anybody know what this is? These little, you've got hands with long claws and a pointy nose. I know what it is. It's a mole. Moles are like, kind of like little mice. They like to dig holes in the ground. A mole tired from tunneling along, discovered the mitten. Remember, the mitten fell out of Mickey's pocket. Mickey didn't even notice. So the mole discovered the mitten and burrowed inside. It was cozy and warm and just the right size. So he decided to stay. Let's closer so you can see. Do you see? Here's the mole. Climbing into the mitten. Let's be a mole climbing into the mitten. Moles are little. So we could turn ourselves into a little ball, right? Like this. This would look like a mole. Now, moles like to dig tunnels in the ground. So if we become a mole, we could pretend that we're digging tunnels in the ground. And it looks like this. So watch me for a minute and then we'll do it together. So we fall into the ground. Okay, let's do it together. So you turn into a tiny ball and then you go into the tunnels. Take a yoga breath while you're here. We could pretend that we're going into the mitten where it's nice and warm. One more time. Go into the mitten. Take a yoga breath because it's so warm and cozy in there. So the mole has gotten into the mitten where it's warm and cozy. Poor Nikki, he just got his mittens. His Baba told him, don't lose them. But he did, lost one. I think it's gonna get good use. There's the mole, you see what's coming? A snowshoe rabbit came hop hopping by. He stopped for a moment to admire his winter coat. And it was then that he saw the mitten and he wiggled in feet first. The mole didn't think that there was room for both of them. But when he saw the rabbit's big kickers, he moved over. The rabbit squishing in there. Let's become a rabbit. Now rabbits have great big back legs. So that could be like this, okay? Little tiny front legs. Sometimes they sit like this, okay? 
And rabbits breathe really fast through their nose. And in yoga, we call it bunny breathing. Let's do a bunny breath together. I'll come closer so you can see my nose. We breathe in and out through our nose really fast. And when we stop, we take a deep breath in through our nose. And notice how that makes us feel. Of course, we could hop like a bunny. Bunnies like to hop. hop. You could bring your hands up. Hop. Now the bunny, he backed into the mitten. So we could come down with your back our cute little bunny butt into the mitten. And all that was sticking out was his little nose and ears. And here's how we'll turn into a bunny inside of a mitten. Watch me. Watch. Here's my big bunny ears. Can we do that together? So we breathe in. Breathe out. Turn into a little bunny ball with your ears sticking out. Breathe in to come up. Did that feel nice? Let's try it one more time. Let's be a bunny inside the mitten. Breathe in, breathe out. And come up, breathe in. Good job. I wonder what's going to happen next. So there's the bunny and the mole. See what's coming next? Next, a hedgehog came snuffling along. Having spent the day looking under wet leaves for things to eat, he decided to move into the mitten and warm himself. The mole and the rabbit were bumped and jostled, but not being ones to argue with someone covered with prickles, they made room. Hedgehogs have lots of prickles on them. Maybe someone at home has a hedgehog as a pet. Hedgehogs are so cute. They turn into these cute little prickly balls. But they're often very friendly. They make good pets. So today, here's how we're gonna to pretend to be a hedgehog, okay? So hedgehogs turn themselves into little balls like this when they are feeling like they need to be protective. So we turn into a little ball. Okay. But when hedgehogs are relaxed, they open up. Okay, like this. Let's do that a couple times. Turn into a little hedgehog ball. Open back up, breathe in. Let's do it again. Turn into a little hedgehog ball. This time rock from side to side. And then open up. Let's do it one more time. Turn into a little hedgehog ball. This time, rock forward and back. And then open up. Mm, pretend you're climbing into that um, cozy mitten where it's nice and warm. And take a yoga breath. Good job. Let's find out what happens next. There's a cute little hedgehog butt climbing in there to see what's coming now. As soon as the hedgehog disappeared into the mitten, a big owl, attracted by the commotion, swooped down. When he decided to move in also, the mole, the rabbit, and the hedgehog grumbled. But when they saw the owl's glinty talons, they quickly let him move in. The owl is moving into the mitten too. It's getting pretty full in that mitten. Owls are pretty cool. Let's pretend that we're like an owl 
You know the elves can turn their heads all the way around backwards? Let's see if we can do that. Nope. I'll only go that far. But if I also turn my body, my head turns almost all the way around like an L. Let's try that together. So we turn our tummy, our shoulders, and then our head, and we can see behind this. Take a yoga breath. Go in the other direction. Take a yoga breath. Good job. Owls are so cool. I wonder what he's doing up in the middle of the day, because usually they hunt at night. Maybe that's what he's trying to do, is to find a cozy place to have a sleep. Let's find out what happens next. Here's the owl, the bunny and the hedgehog and the mole. Do you see what's coming? I know what animal that is to you. Up through the snow appeared a badger. He eyed the mitten and began to climb in. The mole, the rabbit, and the hedgehog, and the owl were not pleased. There was no room left, but when they saw his diggers, they gave him the thumbs up. Must be like a badger. Badgers dig great big holes. Have you ever seen a badger hole? They're really big. Well, they're not big. Now badgers are pretty cool. They've got a nice long tail. So we can pretend our back leg is a nice long tail. And they got these short legs in the front, but they love to dig. So let's dig like a badger. Dig, 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 dig. Take a yoga breath. Let's put our other leg as the tail. Ready? Dig, 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 like a badger. Take a yoga breath. Great job. Good. Now the badger's gonna sneak in there. This poor mitten. There's got to be, it's got to be almost out of room. Do you see who's coming though? It started snowing, but the animals were snug in the mitten. A waft of warm steam rose in the air, and a fox trotting by stopped to investigate. Just the sight of the cozy mitten made him feel drowsy. The fox poked his muzzle in. When the bull, the mole, the rabbit, the hedgehog, and the owl, and the badger saw his shiny teeth, they gave the fox lots of room. Foxes are so cute. They kind of look like pretty little puppies. And in yoga, we have a pose that we call downward facing dog. We can pretend to be a fox when we're in our downward facing dog pose. You can come up like this. You poke your bum up in the air. Now, foxes have long, fluffy tails. Maybe you can have a long, fluffy tail. Tail, wag it. Wag your tail. Wag your tail all around. Let's switch it up and make the other leg the tail. Wag your tail. And into the mitten we go. Hey, wiggle your bum. Wiggle into the mitten with all those other animals. Great job. Surely no more animals can fit in this mitten, can they? You see who's coming? A great bear lumbered by. He spied the mitten all plumped up. Not being one to be left out in the cold, he began to nose his way in. The animals were packed in as tightly as could be. But what animal would argue with a bear? 
The mitten swelled and stretched. It was pulled and bulged to many times its size. But Baba's good knitting held fast. Must be like bears. Okay. You guys only do bear pose in yoga. So we lift our knees just a little off the ground. And we walk around. Try to stomp the ground like a bear. Stomp. Stomp. Growl up there. Try to keep your knees close to the ground. All the bear sounds. Good job. Come into the mitten. The bear sneaks his big body in. Surely this means that the mitten is too full. No more animals could possibly fit in this mitten, could they? What do you think? What do you see there? Along came a meadow mouse, no bigger than an acorn. She wiggled into the one space left and made herself comfortable on the top of the great bear's nose. See? Mice are so little, aren't they? What's the smallest we could turn our body into? Become a little teeny tiny mouse, okay? So maybe your hands can touch your feet and you can tuck your nose in towards your knees and be a little tiny meadow mouse. Try it and take a yoga breath. Can you imagine being brave like that little mouse and sitting on the top of the bear's nose? But it's nice and warm inside that mitten though. Here's a picture of Nikki. Looks like Nikki's just realized he's missing his mitten. Wonder what happens now inside the mitten. The bear tickled by the mouse's whiskers, gave an enormous sneeze. Ah, uh, ah, uh, achoo! The force of the sneeze shot the mitten up into the sky and scattered the animals everywhere. Here's a little game we're gonna play. Are you playing on a yoga mat? If you don't have a yoga mat, you can get a blanket. You can make it big. We'll be like the mole coming into the mitten. Right? So remember the mole pose. Okay? Be the mole inside the mitten. But then along came a rabbit, and the rabbit was in the mitten. So make your blanket or your yoga mat a little bit smaller. There must be a rabbit inside the mitten. After the rabbit came the hedgehog, and the hedgehog was in the mitten. So make your blanket a little smaller. Try and get inside the mitten. Like a little tiny hedgehog. Can you be inside the mitten? What comes next? <laughs> After the hedgehog came in, there was an owl. Can you make your blanket or your mat a little bit smaller? Get in, be the owl. After the owl came the badger. Oh my goodness, gonna make it even smaller. Oh my goodness, you squish that badger in, remember? Tick, 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 tick. The other leg, tick, 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 tick. After the badger, in came the fox. Let's make our mat even smaller. Can we get a fox in here? Can we get a fox in here? Can you squish it in with a big fox tail? 
After the fox, the bear came in. Oh my goodness, we're gonna make it even smaller. Oh, how small can you get it and still get on it? Oh, here's my bear. Okay, and then even smaller. How small can you get it? Can you turn it into a tiny little meadow mouse and get inside? Switch it. And then let's pretend to have a great big sneeze. And all the animals come flying out. So we go, ah, 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 choo! All the animals come tumbling out. Oh my goodness. Right out of the mitten. Is that fun? If there's more than one of you at home, you can try and fit all of the animals where you two are pretending to play. And you keep making your mat smaller and smaller and smaller, and then you sneeze together and go busting out. Looks like Mickey is feeling a little worried, isn't he? There's all the animals after the big sneeze from the bear, busting out of that mitten. Look at the fox sitting in the snow. On his way home, Mickey saw a white shape in the distance. It was the lost mitten silhouetted against the blue sky. See? As he ran to catch his snow white mitten, he saw Papa's face in the window. First, she looked to see if he was safe and sound. And then she saw that he still had his new mittens. Do you see her looking here? Why is one mitten so stretched? Baba looks confused, doesn't she? We know why the mitten got stretched. That's the end of our story. But let's pretend one last time. Unroll your blanket or your mat. And if you have another blanket that you want to bring over top of you, could pretend it's the mitten. I have a blanket here. I'm going to get inside. Okay, so get into your mitten. You get in and have a lay down. We're going to pretend that we were so cold before we got into the mitten. So pretend that your hands and arms are cold and you're going to squeeze them solid like they're frozen solid. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Oh, and then relax because the arms are warming up. What about your legs? Pretend your legs are super cold. Squeeze them tight. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Oh, so cold. So squeeze, squeeze. And relax. Squeeze your bum. Pretend your bum is so cold. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. And relax. Squeeze your face. Pretend your face is frozen solid. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. And relax. Now squeeze the whole body tight. Squeeze it tight. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze like we're frozen solid. And then pretend we're getting so warm. And relax. You might want to even go in all the way into the mitten. You can go all the way in. And take some yoga breaths inside your mitten. So nice and warm and cozy. And we're gonna have a stretch when you're ready. Nice big stretch. Mm, like a wake up. And then slowly come out of your mitten when you're ready. And that concludes our yoga class. I'm going to come talk to the screen here. It's always so much fun to come and practice yoga with you. Let's take one more yoga breath together.
I feel my body. I feel my heart. With your hands over your heart, or if you know how, you can make a heart shape and put it over top of your heart. And we say to one another, my heart sees your heart. Thank you for practicing yoga with me today. Merry Christmas for those that are watching in the Christmas season with me. Have a wonderful day. I'll see you soon.